here. The weather's changing once again. Maybe yeah. some big storms <laughs> tomorrow. Yeah, of course, we are, we we're not going to be in this warm pattern forever. Nope. And it, it is coming to an end, and we're going to a colder pattern. Hi. But feeling like where we should be for right. this time of year. Let's take a look, though, at the severe weather <clears throat> threat, though, for Tuesday, because as is typical for this time of year, when you transition from very warm temperatures to very cool temperatures, that typically means a severe weather threat splits in the middle there. But taking a look at the severe weather threats for Tuesday, uh, again, we're watching the hours closely between at 10 o'clock in the morning tomorrow to 8 o'clock in the evening for the greatest risk of seeing strong to severe thunderstorms, although the greatest threat will actually be during the afternoon noon hours uh, when we have the peak daytime heating. Damaging wind gusts up to 70 miles per hour is the primary concern here as a squall line is likely to develop over in central Texas and then move into our East Texas counties. We'll take a look at that with our future cast. But with that squall line, that typically means straight line winds is the primary concern, but we cannot rule out some brief spin up tornadoes along the leading edge of the line as well. However, we will also be watching closely for anything that can develop out ahead of the line. Uh, these isolated supercells that could develop will pose a greater risk of tornadoes, including a few stronger tornadoes as well, especially in our southeasternmost areas. So uh, tornado threat is definitely not uh, zero for us. And in fact, even though it's a lower risk than damaging wind gusts, I'm still concerned about seeing a couple of tornadoes in our area. As we take a look at what Futurecast has for us, here's uh, Tuesday morning, 11 o'clock. You can see the line moving from Dallas in a two hour area from Sulphur Springs down towards Gun Barrel City will be the first to get in on the storm. Now at this point, the squall line may not be too intense as it moves on through, but as we head into the afternoon, as things continue to heat up, this squall line will likely intensify by two o'clock in the afternoon. It will likely start becoming severe as it crosses uh, our area uh, and again you can see the potential for some isolated activity to develop out ahead of it. Now what's going to happen is the isolated cells are going to form uh, depending on how fast they are moving the line may catch up to them and kind of absorb them into the line which would diminish the tornado risk. Uh, so that's something else we'll be watching for. So again a lot is at play here. Uh, we'll, we'll be keeping an eye on the radar throughout the day tomorrow and we will of course have any tornado warnings and severe thunderstorm warnings for you. We will let you know about them and we will be keeping an eye on the radar, uh, taking a look at the storms as they develop. Four o'clock in the afternoon Tuesday, the line is still pushing through the area. We'll have to watch, especially between three and six o'clock for the strongest uh, storms to be pushing on through the area, which will eventually exit into Louisiana after about eight, nine o'clock in the evening on our Tuesday and then things will dry out somewhat behind there, although I can't rule out a few showers into early Wednesday morning. The other thing this cold front is bringing is a significant drop in the temperatures. Uh, we are going to go from highs in the 70s on Tuesday to highs in the 40s by Saturday and Sunday. So we drop uh, well below average for this time of year as we head into this coming weekend, and then we'll gradually moderate the temperatures a bit by Monday of next week. We continue to need the rain out there as well. We still have rainfall deficits for the month of December, which adds on to the deficit for the entire year as a whole. But overall, the drought situation has been gradually improving due to the rain that we have been seeing, and we'll have additional rain chances over the next few days for to, uh, tomorrow. And then heading into the weekend, we'll see another chance of some rain. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Now we are going to see that big cool down morning lows well into the 30s. Starting Friday morning could see some freezes out there as well, and then we will see those highs only in the 40s for Saturday and Sunday with rain chances on top of that. So a cold rain for us for deep east Texas. It is more of the same. We are going to see that gradual cool down into the end of the work week and then as we head into the weekend.